It's a little bit like you, when you're talking on, mo on a mobile phone and it uh, echoes back. Yeah. So you start to listen to the response and it takes your mind away of uh, sort of message. Yes, and we can see your clarity of speech. For eight years now, the archaeoacoustic team of the University of Helsinki has been studying acoustics of the Finnish rock painting sites. From the beginning, Kai Lasvolk was a key player in this enterprise that expanded from pilot experiments to a full-scale project. It was Kai who developed research methods of this project, speaking of hardware and software. He devised fieldwork equipment for recording the acoustic phenomena and a set of signal analysis tools for measuring their characteristics. The University of Helsinki Music Research Laboratory was involved in the process of sound analysis, with Kai assisting at this stage too. The fieldwork equipment consists of two different loudspeakers, four multi-channel audio recorders and four separate microphone systems. It also includes a boat-operated recording raft that is custom-designed for the particular conditions of the Finnish rock painting sites. The raft, the omnidirectional loudspeaker and the tracks for the microphone systems were built by Pekka Laine. While focusing on elaboration of the measuring methods, Kai also volunteered to our fieldwork trips to the rock painting sites. These sites are magnificent ritual places of prehistoric hunter-fisher gatherers, dated to 5200 to 1000 BC, and situated by lakes and rivers in southern, southeastern and eastern Finland. Our fieldwork trips inevitably entail unexpected adventures, incidents and challenges. Kai always faced these challenges with excellent sense of humor, positive attitude and perfect composure. The acoustic impulse response measurements and recordings must be performed outdoors, early in the morning or late in the evening, in totally windless conditions. Nevertheless, we often find ourselves at the mercy of weather, cold temperatures and in the wilderness areas difficult to access. As a result, Many dangers are lurking on our way, such as bumpy and slippery roads, frostbites, weak and deceptive lake ice, and sudden rain, thunder or snowstorms. One of our most remarkable summertime trips was made to the rock painting site of Keltavori in Lappeenranta. This place, with fantastic acoustic properties, in addition, features six or seven consecutive echoes from surroundings. To carry out tests at Kertavori, we invited Professor Emeritus Jergo Resnikov, an internationally known pioneer of archaeoacoustic research from Paris Nantier University in France. The idea was to capture these consecutive echoes for demonstration purposes using his powerful singing voice and two sets of microphones. An array of six directional Neumann microphones and the DPA closed talking microphone. Kai instructed Jäger on the use of the closed talking microphone and took care of the recording himself. 
All together, we set out to find a suitable place for singing, recording and filming the work process. Mun pitäisi tulla sitten heti sen äänityksen jälkeen. Se tavallaan olisi parempi, että sulla olisi airot, niin se, se pitäisit sen, kun Resnikov laulaa, pitäisit venettä paikallaan. Okei, okay. so when we get to the point when we, uh, we do the recording, can you uh, give me the uh, I can tell that I Oletteko te tehneet yhtään äänitystä vielä? Ei ole ehditty. Joo. Sulla pitäisi olla ne airot. Joo, no katsotaan, etsitään paikkaa ja mä voin ottaa ne airot sitten. Niin Joo. Saadaan. Sitten vene pysyy paikalla sen äänityksen ajan. Nyt mitä äh, sinne suosittelit? Öö, tuonne päin. Öö. Ja, ja, joo, joo, menee, oikein, menee. joo. Missä on tuo? Maalauksen kanssa. Sitten kauemmas tuosta kalliosta, kun nyt ollaan. Joo. Can, can you keep your right hand away from the microphone? Oh yes, I forgot this microphone, yeah, yeah. sorry. But you know, for the echoes it's not it's not the one. Because my voice is selve. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> was better here. Yes, fine. But it was... So now I can turn, you know, we are facing there. Uh, you go now further away yes, from the rock. Yes, could the be. Same position. Yeah, it's the same position and uh, go further away. Then we, we can... Uh, don't turn the pole. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I would like to, to be... On my back this side and okay turn. okay so yeah, okay so uh, okay I can turn okay I can turn yeah. now let's make Oop. and then facing oh <laughs> Yeah. 
Can you be as still as possible after your sang, so that there's no extra noise. So just keep still. So then, then we get the recording of the echoes. Nyt mistä haluaisit? Tämä on aika hyvä, mutta tota, tässä on vielä tuulee vähän liikaa. Ja, ja se on totta. totta. Uh, ehkä huomenna voimme yrittää, Joo. Uh, jos laiva, vene on niin kuin uh, kaljon. Next to the... Vieressä vai? Ja, vieressä. Ja, ja. Mutta... Uh, Ehkä huomenna voisimme uh, yrittää uh, kaljon edessä. Ja... Joo. Joo. Veden liplatus kuuluu aika voimakkaasti, kun vesi lyö, laineet lyö veneeseen. Joo. Mutta se on eleve. Kyllä. Ja se on myöskin... Vanha ääni. Mm. Nyt tyyntyy kyllä tyyntyy. Joo. Hauhu! 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 Onko kuusi? Ja kuusi. Kaksi tälle. A skillful audio engineer, Kai also appeared to be an enthusiastic photographer with a great passion for historical cameras and photochemical processes. He would bring with him retro cameras, Graflex and Rolliflex, to take black and white and color photos of the sites. And later, he would also develop the films himself. In respect of the author's work, our film represents Kai's photographs unretouched. Fascinated by various photography themes, Kai used to capture landscapes, close-ups of the cliffs and paintings, and even experimental ultraviolet images. With ultraviolet technology, he wanted to reveal possible paintings that had faded over millennia. During the fieldwork, he also took group photos of the archaeoacoustic team. Oh. 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 Ja on yksi, ei ja. Kolme. 
kolmi tuolta? Joo. Ja, ja kolmi tai neljä teille. Mm-hmm. Jere kerran. Oho! Ja neljä teille, seitsemän. Mm-hmm. Ihanaa.